Hello, I am Deprar, and I am going to be doing my top six favorite types of erosion. And I'm not going to say why I chose them, because you guys don't really, like, anyone who watches this doesn't really care. I'm just going to say how, it's ca how they're caused. So, yeah, that's basically the gist of what I'm going to be doing there. So. Begin with number six. My number six has definitely got to be, maybe from a textbook, erosion by wind. The reason why is because it's not that good to me. It's main thing is wind is a force that causes mechanical weathering. It's all it is is dust and or dirt in the wind hitting a rock. Here's the rock. The wind comes in and hits it and takes parts off. And then it becomes a picture like the picture in the textbook. It's, it looks cool but it's not the most effective erosion. That's just what I, my opinion. All these are mainly my opinion, but I'm mainly doing this on how much damage it's done to the world and stuff, and it's most common. So, yeah. On Screen. Number five is, of course, nature's chisel. Erosion by ice, nature's chisel. The only reason why is because it's about the same effect as wind. It's, it still happens today, but it's it's like, meh, who cares? not that cool. It's, it's water getting into the cracks of rock, freezing, and then tearing it apart from the inside. Cooler than wind, not as cool as number four. Which of course number four is. Number five is not as cool as number four, which is erosion by chemicals, also known as sea erosion. Because sea erosion and chemical erosion are basically the same thing. It's when the chemicals from the from the water tear up, tear apart some of the dirt in the land. So it's like it dissolves the minerals, and then it just dissolves that. Basic gist. That's it. It dissolves it. it. dissolves the minerals, makes like underwater caves, like in the picture. Cool number five, but number three takes the cake on coolness to me. The one that takes the cake has got to be Origin by Ice, Nature's Bulldozer. Reason is, it's because it's a big hunk of ice also known as a, a glacier, is tearing apart an area. It's just on like a slant, taking all the rocks with it. It's got a nice flower surface. I don't think anything can grow there after that, but Though unfortunately this erosion is basically dead. Because this would have kicked in around the last ice age. Actually, I think I've read it from here. I can't find it there, so I'm skimming it over real quickly. But to me, it's kind of dead. But, of course, that's one of my opinions. Might be cooler than some other people, but... Continue on to number two.
Number two is erosion by living things. Why living things is number two, not number one, is because of one thing. It's not the most common. Number one is the most common erosion in the world. That's why it's basically number one. But, Erosion by Living Things is really cool because a seed gets into a rock. And you can't grow stuff in gravel and stuff because to think that a tree with a small crack can have a seed put in it and then grow a tree. To me, that's really cool. That the tree can tear apart the insides of a rock when the roots grow. To me, that's really cool. And it's actually one of, one of the most common, but not the common, which of course. I've done chemical, chisel, bulldozer, and other things, and wind, which leaves, of course, number one, which is water. The most common one. Because this erosion will never die. There's always going to be some source of water on the earth. Some source. As long as a human can pee, there's, a, there's water. Because urine contains mainly water. The rest of it is basically toxins and waste and nutrients. That is it. There will always be some sort of water erosion. It will never die, and it's with water. Um, attacks the soil in like, okay, here's land, like, there's a tree here, and then the waves will come up, hit it, and take some down with it. And if you do that, and if that happens a lot, you can have the picture in the textbook, where it shows the tree, trees tipped over, and basically in the water. That. It, that's the basic, basic gist. And now that we are done, yay! That, that is my project. I hope you are happy with it. And a little more celebration. Now I am done. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just Check out my YouTube channel for more stuff like this. Nerds of Nintendo on YouTube. Check that out and hope you enjoyed. I'm Jacob Ferrar, clicking the stop button.